Konami just announced Rarity Collection 2. Already? What's up, guys? We're back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh! announcement. So, uh, yeah, this was yesterday. I know I'm a day late, but thanks to having to do all those different streams and all this different stuff with the new set yesterday, I wasn't able to post this video on the day I wanted to post it, but I figured I could still talk about Rarity Collection 2 today, even though I'm a day late. Sorry about that. If you do want to hear my opinion of it, here it is. So if you haven't heard yet, Konami, we had Rarity Collection, you know, it was an amazing set, blew up 2023, no, like mid-November, something like that. Two months later, two months, Konami has announced Rarity Collection 2. And I know, no, literally, not a rewave of Rarity Collection 1. This is a new set, Rarity Collection 2. I woke up this morning, the day of recording this, I roll over and I see a text from Simo talking about this, and I'm going, this is real. Rarity Collection 2 has already been announced and i go and i'm like okay let me see when's this thing coming out next to probably next november right like a year later that's when it's gonna come out no it's coming out in may literally seven months later we have another rarity collection and if you guys watch my rarity collection videos you heard me talk about how much i love rarity collection i was hoping that they would wait a few years just to you know give it some space let it air out not too much of a good thing Konami heard that and they said, how about we get you one even quicker than you ever imagined? Now I'm gonna talk about everything I love about Rarity Collection, why I'm excited about this product, why I think it's gonna be an absolute banger, and then I'm gonna talk about a few things like why I think this is a little concerning that we're getting a second Rarity Collection in seven months. Before we get into the video, we will be doing a stream for Maze of Millennia. We're finally gonna get our boxes at some point next week. I'm planning on Monday or Tuesday because my boxes never arrive for the Whatnot stream. So hopefully they will and we can do a stream then on YouTube. So hopefully see you guys there. So the first thing I want to do is go through the actual website, uh, Konami booster pack, new card game kind of thing. I haven't actually read this yet because I've been doing streams and stuff like that all day. I haven't actually been able to actually read it myself. So this is the Rarity Collection 2. You can see this on uh, Konami's official website. Here's what it's going to look like. It's got the blue look. Not gonna lie, I'm digging it. I think it looks better than, than one already. I'm a big fan of the pack artwork, which I know it's not like a monster or anything, but I just like this blue. I think the 25th looks really nice, which by the way, still 25th anniversary. I thought it was gonna be like a 12 month span of 25th anniversary, but boy, was I wrong. We are expanding way well beyond that already. I heard that the OCG did 20th anniversary for multiple years. So I'm guessing that we might be doing 25th anniversary until 2026, who knows? I guess if the sets are good, who cares? Release date, May 23rd, 2024. The 25th anniversary Rarity Collection 2 is a rapid fire waterfall of high powered cards and seven of the game's most popular foil rarities. So it looks like we're getting the same rarities as Rarity Collection 1. I mean, it just happened, so I'd be surprised if they changed up much. Last year's 25th anniversary Rarity Collection blew everyone's socks off. Okay, so they sold a lot of it. So we started working on a sequel right away. <laughs> clearly right away right away because like i mean there's got to be some lead up to this kind of stuff so oh, wow it, like right away in order to get it out as fast as we can we've made some changes to configuration while leaving all the good stuff and value and value i guess va saying value doesn't recognize the secondary market because that's something they really aren't they don't do and they're not it's not supposed to do, I don't think. So interesting that they say that. Next line, 25th anniversary Rarity Collection 2 packs have twice as many ultra and secret rares per pack. I did hear this, which gives you twice as many chances at luxury rares. That's something I've never heard of, but I guess that's just high rarity, basically. Per pack, quarter century rares, prismatic, ultimate, and collector rares, and platinum. So it looks like they're basically taking our mega pack, which I know it's people have done this before, but we do mega packs on the stream for new sets, and we just put a bunch of good cards in one stack and open them up. They're basically doing this in a real Real pack. They're taking a real pack and they're giving you a chance to get six high rarity cards in it, which for content and just fun of opening stuff for all you guys who are buying packs, this is awesome. I'm excited about this. They said, we're cutting back on the packaging so there'll be fewer packs you need to open. I mean, we love opening packs, but sometimes there's a lot of stuff and fewer foil wrappers to throw away. Very nice to get the same number of cards you're looking for. And with double the cards per pack and two thirds of packs should have at least one luxury rare this time. Two thirds of packs. Wow. And around a third should have more than one. You can even get up to six luxury rares in same pack this time around. That's something we're gonna have to do is attempt to find the six luxury rare pack. That'll be super fun. So I do love, I, I complain a lot about these very special sets that they put way too much packaging like Ghost from the Past. You had to open up this box to get three packs out of it. It's like, it's exciting to look at, but in theory it's exciting, but in practice, when you're actually opening up a bunch of it, it's awful. You're just opening a bunch of plastic and boxes that's just getting thrown away immediately. So it's good to see that they're considering that. The interesting thing is I did see MSRP of this is now $10 a pack, which is like, whoa, $10 a pack. That's like, 
never been done in Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's more like an MTG collector kind of pack where you have a lot more cards in one pack. I don't know how people are going to feel about that. It's very interesting. Uh, it will be fun to open though. I'm guessing they're going to be 12 pack boxes then. I really don't know how this is going to work. Each pack will contain two secret rares, each individual one in four chance of being upgraded to platinum quarter century, four ultra rares with a one in six chance, and then three supers. So before we got two supers, so you're actually getting a better chance to pull high rarity cards in these. So before it was two supers. So if you put two packs together, it would have been four supers. Now you're only getting three supers. So it looks like they're actually increasing the odds of what you're going to get, which is cool. And when we're actually, you know, trying to hunt all the cards, this will be great. All cards are different from the first rarity collection. Yeah, that's something we got to talk about. Here's a quick look at some of what you can find. They've got Access Code Talker, Magician Souls, great cards. Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman. I know Rhyme Style is very excited about these. Droll and Lockbird, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Ghost Motor more. Uh, Ghost Ogre and Moonlit Chill, Fantastic Dragon Phantasme, a bunch of other cool cards. IP Masquerade. This is one I wanted to talk about. IP Masquerade. Wow, we did the alternate art this time, guys. This is Konami. Hey, we didn't reprint the regular art. We did the alternate art. So maybe they listen to us or maybe they're just milking it that hard because first we get a reprint of the Starlight and it's in the same artwork, which we're like, okay, that's kind of dumb. Should have put it in the alternate artwork. They just do it again in the alternate artwork, which I'm glad it's alternate. Like if this was just the regular one and they just straight up made another quarter century, it'd have been terrible. So getting the alternate art of IP, Rescue Cat and Apollosa, that's cool. I'm glad they did alternate art. That shouldn't affect the other one too much, but there's already two prints of it, so it doesn't really matter. And that's something we'll get into later in this video, but I am very happy to see they took the alternate art like suggestion that we've had may or may not have they've been planning to do it but this should have been the first time but it's still really cool that they, we are going to get the alternate art because those were locked behind gold rares for a long time and nobody really likes those gold rares yeah i like the look of them but they in practice they're kind of iffy and speaking of the quality of the cards i'm hoping rarity collection 2 is not too rushed because they said you know we had to get it out right away we got to get you more rarity collection 2 hopefully they are improving the quality control of the cl prismatic collect rares and the prismatic prismatic ultimate rares because both of those do not hold up very well. The cards feel like they're going to fall apart in just like a year's time. So I'm hoping Rarity Collection 2 is taking that into consideration because I, I, it seems like they're really wanting to get this set out. OK, so we've gone through this like you guys have already heard about this stuff, so we don't need to spend too much time on this. But what do I think about Rarity Collection 2? I know like this is the this is the reaction. Rarity Collection 2 gets announced. Everybody's excited. Great. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited too. It's great. It's awesome. But are we getting too much of a good thing? I know people are going to be mad if I say that, but we're a few minutes into the video, so I've, I've probably escaped the people that are going to be angry. But before we actually talk about that too much, like the ne negative, you know, the negative stuff, there's negative on every set. Let's go with what we love about these sets. And look, there's now two of them, so I can say these sets and not just one. First of all, this will be an amazing set. It's going to be awesome. Everybody's going to love it. People are going to buy it. Rarity Collection 1 was probably the most exciting release in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. People loved it. Everyone was opening it. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was watching stuff about it, which was great for me. It was awesome. I mean, it was great. And Rarity Collection 2 is going to be just that good because the hype hasn't even died down from Rarity Collection 1. We're already talking about 2. And reprinting all of these cards. So we now have 81 reprints from Rarity Collection 1. Now 81 more reprints in Rarity Collection 2. 162 really big cards. For the most part, they're pretty usable cards and stuff like that. So players are going to have very, very, very accessible cards. Like if you need any of these cards out of Rarity Collection, nothing's going to be over $10. Nothing. If you want the super, you can get them for like five at the most. That's the most expensive. Most of them are probably going to be 20 cents. So if you need cards for your decks, you can get them. That's the great side of this. And the third thing I do want to mention is this set is a going to be a blast to collect because Rarity Collection 1 was the most fun I've ever had collecting a set in Yu-Gi-Oh! That includes all the old school sets. Putting together that binder we did live was so much fun. And we're going to be doing that again for Rarity Collection 2 because it was a absolute blast. I loved it. It was so much fun. And I hope more people attempt to do it themselves. They won't probably be able to do it like we did it opening cases of cases, but maybe they could slowly put together the Rarity Collection binder and that'd be really fun as well. So those are three huge pluses to this Rarity Collection 2 release. But here is my... I don't even like here's the problem if I say oh there's a big I got a big problem with rarity collection people then take that out of context like if I put that as the title of this video which I'm probably not going to do because what I've learned about these kind of discussion videos is the reaction is purely based on the title if I say anything that remotely implies negative people get angry they're like oh they, oh it's not negative it's on if I say like 
Rarity Collection 2 is out. It's awesome. People will be like, yeah, I totally agree. And if even if the video, half of it is me complaining about something, you know, they don't care. It's all about the title and the thumbnail. So now that you guys have watched this far in, we can actually talk about things that I'm concerned about with this Rarity Collection release. This amount of rapid reprints scares me. And I know the people that are on Twitter that they're all about getting cheap cards. They're going to like, yeah, you suck. What? Yeah, you you care about you. How do you not want every card to be 50 cents? There is a reason that I don't want every card to be 50 cents here and now. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Like we're we're printing amazing sets. People are enjoying them, opening them, having fun. Like nothing is wrong with that, right? Nothing is wrong with that in the moment. The stores are selling out. People are having fun with the set. They're playing the cards. They're getting them for cheap. But here is the issue. Rarity Rarity Collection 1, amazing. Rarity Collection 2, amazing. If they announce Rarity Collection 3 next in this December, you know, three in the span of a year, amazing. Here's the problem though, future sets. The problem is future sets. Let's put a scenario out there. Let's say uh, next year, 2024, or this year, sometime in 2024, after Rarity Collection 2's come out, after Rarity Collection 1 comes out, we're, we're putting out a new reprint set, okay? We're, we're trying to think, what are we gonna reprint this year? We could do Ash Blossom. Well, no, that got hit in Rarity Collection 1. How about Drone Lock? Well, that Access Coat, no. Uh, how about Magician's? No, that also got reprinted. Hmm, what can we put in there then that people are going to care about? If you put those cards in there and you sell the set and you're like, there's reprints in here, get excited about them. All of us are going to go, I already got mine from Rarity Collection. I don't need it in this new set. Why would I buy this new set? And so all these reprint sets that are previously awesome, like super excited because they have an Ash reprint, they have, you know, multiple good reprints inside. They don't really have a pool to pick from. And you might say, well, just pick other cards. You know, there are other good cards. Well, if we're doing Rarity Collection 1, we're doing Rarity Collection 2, we might do a Rarity Collection 3. The more we do these, the less the pool just gets smaller and smaller because there's 10,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but you know, only this many of them are really good and they'll they'll make it you excited about a new set because you're trying to get the print of it. But if they've all been reprinted in Rarity Collection, nobody's going to buy a new set with them. And this is where Magic the Gathering got themselves into trouble. They started doing tons and tons of of multiple rarities and all this different stuff, and they started overprinting everything. And then what happened, look, if we've gone back and seen that they decided to start selling stuff on Amazon. They started selling their boxes, not to local stores because they were just trying to get rid of the product because nobody wanted to buy it. They're selling it on Amazon. They're bypassing the local stores that were their bread and butter just to sell them online. And I'm not saying that's necessarily gonna happen with Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't even know if they're gonna do another rarity collection. They might do like Ghost from the Past 1 and 2, which they did wait a year for that one. And they never did three. They might never do another rarity collection again for all I know. But if they do that and then these other sets, they they come out and they're, they're like, oh, a new reprint set. It's got an Ash Blossom in it. Nobody buys it and they might be like, huh, how are we going to get rid of these? How about Amazon? How about we just sell them all to Amazon for cheaper and like get some of our money back? I don't know. It might happen. That's something that I'm worried about. Because if that does happen, that starts killing stores, that starts killing uh, the value of any sort of set. And the value is not necessarily the money. It's just like the value in they released a set and we want to care about it. Like if they start releasing sets and we don't care about half of them, we only care about the rarity collection set or whatever. It kind of waters down Yu-Gi-Oh sets in general. You just don't get as excited about them. And that's kind of what's important. Rarity collection, very exciting. So that's a good thing. But other set compared to Rarity Collection, you compare me like, well, I'm just going to buy Rarity Collection. That's way better. Why would I buy this other reprint set? So here's what I'm hoping will happen based on this. So because I'm I'm worried. I am legitimately worried. I am excited and worried at the same time. The worry, I'm hoping they, they resolve this because Rarity Collection 1 and 2 coming out with the span of seven months. Do not give us other crappy reprint sets. They can easily quell a lot of my fears by getting rid of Legendary Collection, Season 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever number it is. Dragons of Legend so-and-so with a die in it and two packs. Get rid of that. Battles of Legend, which by the way is coming out this year. Battles of Legend reprinting Battles of Legend Armageddon. It's coming out very close, I think, to when Rarity Collection comes out. Who is gonna buy Battles of Legend, whatever that's called, when you have Rarity Collection right on the horizon? Nobody, nobody's buying that set. So we've got to cut that crap out. No more of that crap. And consider, even though they, have, they did do a good job with those recent side set, CR set, consider getting rid of those. Because if we're gonna have Rarity Collection twice a year, which, look, we could do it, it could happen. We need zero other reprint sets. I'm talking get rid of the Megatons. Look, I love the Megatons, but we don't need Megatons and two Rarity Collections. That's too much. That's too many reprints. Everything's, like, there'll be nothing. At some point, but year three of two Rarity Collections a year, we're just reprinting the same cards and, and then Rarity Collection then becomes not good because all these good things, we have so many good Rarity Collections that 
Oh wait, we've reprinted everything now. Now Rarity Collection 17 is not interesting anymore. Nobody even cares about that anymore. So there's like no good products anymore. So I'm hoping if this becomes like an annual thing, I don't know, it could just be a 25th anniversary thing. I could be overreacting. It could just be a two things for 25th anniversary. But it seems like what happened is they put Rarity Collection out. It blew up. It was amazing. And they're like, we're getting one out immediately. Like they weren't planning on doing a second one, which is what I thought originally when I read it. I was like, they must have had this plan because it's so quick. But based on this, this thing at the beginning, it says, so we started working on a sequel right away. So it sounds like they saw the results and then started working on a sequel. So when this one blows up, because it's going to blow up, it's Rarity Collection 2. Are they going to start working on a sequel again? Are they going to do number three? Are they already working on it right now? And that's where I'm hoping we're not getting too much of a good thing. We're not by making more Rarity Collections closer together, making later Rarity Collections not as good and every other set awful. So that is what I'm worried about. I'm sure if you made it this far, then you're probably just wanting to hear the take and understand why. Overall, still really excited about Rarity Collection 2. I think it's going to be super fun when it comes out. I just have that worry that will turn into Magic the Gathering because I know a lot of people in Magic are very unhappy, which, you know, we've had our experiences with Magic. We saw what can happen, what can turn into a community when the wrong things keep happening. But right now, I think... I think we're fine with two. I think it's going to be great. I'm just worried that if we start putting them six months apart, everything's just going to be, it's going to go to crap. And it's really not about like, oh, I'm holding on to a lot of current cards that are getting reprinted. I'm not actually. I a lot of people think that I am because I, I bring this up that there's a possibility of, oh, it like hurting value and stuff. I don't keep starlights like the starlights I pull. I just sell them because I just have no faith. They're not going to get reprinted. And I apparently was right. So I only have a couple starlights in my collection. They're the ones that I pulled and I'm keeping from my collection, like the Stardust Dragon we pulled and stuff like that. But other stuff like just random starlights I pull. I don't keep those. I don't keep them for stonks because I just don't believe in Yu-Gi-Oh and new cards being stonks. And I think now we can confirm that modern Yu-Gi-Oh is not a stonk. It's never going to be a stonk. They're going to reprint everything. And that's totally fine. It's just don't plan on it being a stonk. You know, now that you know, buy your cards. If you get meta cards, just sell them. If you're not going to play them, if you're going to open a box for stuff to play, keep them and play them. Great, because you're getting value out of them. If you're just a collector like me and you're opening them up just for fun, you just need to sell your stuff right away. Most of the time, it's just going to be the best move. You pull the SP Little Knight, guarantee in a year, it's not going to be worth what it is now. So if you have an SP Little Knight right now and you're not using it in your deck, you're not planning on using your deck, get on TCG Player and sell it. I'm doing you a favor. I did this with Baron DeFloor before it got the reprint. It was $100. A bunch of you guys sold it. And now it's whatever it is for the ultra rare, like 30 bucks or something like that, because it got a reprint. And guess what? Rarity Collection will come and hit it with seven reprints. I'm sure after the seven Baron reprint, that thing's even less than 30 bucks now. So if you are not playing the cards, just get rid of them. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. Just sell it. I'm just trying to save you guys the money. And one more note that I know there are some fans of Starlights out there that are pretty pretty upset about this because they love starlights they like they thought they were really collectible they were they were super hard to pull they're just not collect as collectible anymore guys in terms of if you buy one for the price tag of 500 a thousand it's not going to be worth it for you it's just not it, it might be fun to collect but the problem is the price tag is too high at the moment you might want to wait till the qcr print comes because it's it's gonna come buy it then and then maybe you could get like a discount so that's kind of the strategy i would go in with modern right now modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards are they're just here for playing which is totally fine i mean would be exciting if we could have you know the playable cards be affordable like you know the ultras and stuff like that and then have like the starlights not get reprinted so we could just collect those and stuff like that that would be great but it's just it's not the reality so i've rambled on and this it was mostly i'm not complaining guys i don't want you guys to think i'm complaining i'm excited about rarity collection too i want you guys to realize that i just have concerns and i think it's okay to be excited and have concerns at the same time because there is such thing as too much of a good thing and i think we're bordering on it right now I don't know that we are going to go over that edge. I thought Rarity Collection 1 was great. And I said, a few years off, it'll be great to do a second one. It has shown up a little earlier than expected. I can't predict the future, though. Maybe it's going to work out totally fine, and I hope it does. And honestly, I don't even want to say no Rarity Collection 3, because I want there to be a Rarity Collection 3. I just think six months might be a little, a little aggressive. But let's see what's going to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, whether or not you agree with me, whether or not you care, because I know it, you don't even have to care about future sets because you might just want to live in the here and now which is totally okay i hope you guys at least enjoyed the perspective and whether you agree or not i'm still going to be opening Yu-Gi-Oh. it doesn't really matter like they could reprint it into the ground they could destroy every market there is i'm still going to be in it and so does it really make a difference i have already gotten messages about this and people 
have been concerned already saying kind of the same thing I'm saying. So I know most of you guys are excited and I'm also excited. So let's just see what's going to happen. I've rambled on too long for this video. Sorry it was a day late, by the way, and I will see you guys in more openings very soon. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.